Governor Whitmer, along with her Census 2020 team, hosted a press conference at Southfield City Hall to discuss the plans and importance of the up and coming census survey. Here's the full coverage of the event. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, th thank you for being here. I'm Ken Cyber, mayor of the city of Southfield. Uh, it is my pleasure to uh, host the governor and uh, her team uh, today for um, the kickoff uh, locally of the 2020 census. Uh, in the audience, I see members, uh, and I'm not going to introduce uh, everyone, but I see members of our uh, Total Living Commission, which will be carrying the local um, uh, census message. Uh, I see members of our city staff, as well as uh, COSA, our Commission on Senior Adults, and then members of our uh, Complete uh, Count Committee. Uh, I do want to point out that Fred Zorn, our city administrator, is here along with council persons, Lenny Taylor, uh, Dan Brightwell, and uh, uh, Don Fercasi, and, and did I, oh, and Ari Monobaum, sorry, in the back row, and very quickly, Janet Jackson, uh, who I didn't introduce the last time she was present, so I'm making sure I do that today. Uh, Janet Jackson, our county commissioner. So, uh, so uh, with that, um, uh, I've been asked to introduce um, uh, Hassan Jaber, uh, who is the uh, head of the uh, Access, uh, a nonprofit, one of uh, Michigan's largest uh, uh, nonprofits that deals in uh, health care. Um, Hassan, the microphone is yours. Thank you, Mayor, and good afternoon. I want to thank you for coming, Governor. This is your leadership again is uh, is uh, a guiding to all of us. Um, census 2020 is really critical for us, um, and we can only do it once every 10 years. So we have one opportunity in 2020 to do this right, to do a complete count. So much at stake for us. 40% of the state budget is federal money that comes to Michigan based on census numbers. And these are really critical programs, 16 federal programs that are uh, critical for our communities. These are Medicaid, Medicare, SNAP, uh, children uh, school program, uh, lunch programs, uh, community health programs, uh, and WIC programs, and Section 8 housing. These are the programs that can be impacted if we don't do a good job in making sure everyone is uh, is counted. The challenge is is um, uh, is uh, uh, high for us. Um, the fact that Michigan has a high percentage of hard to count communities, and we need to make sure that these communities are included. The fact that we have a last minute untested citizenship question added to the census is creating fear and creating uh, uh, questions and concerns. The fact is that the census is gonna be mostly internet and we have 20% of Michigan populations have no access to the internet. And that's a job we need to be figuring out how we can close that gap uh, for these people. All of this make this 2020 census a challenging task for us. But you know what? We're gonna do this. And we're gonna have a complete count. And we're gonna do it the best way we know how to do this is making this a grassroots communities 
the Michigan Nonprofit Association with some funding from the foundations here in Michigan are building relationship throughout the state, creating centers where people who need assistance with how to fill out the census, they can go there. We're going to do this by informing communities, explain why this is important to them, by engaging these communities, and finally, by mobilizing these communities. This is a civic duty. We cannot have less of presentation and less of resources coming as a result of not doing a, a good job, a full job, a complete job, and making sure that everyone in Michigan is counted. Thank you so much. It's really my pleasure uh, to introduce Alexis Wiley, a chief of staff, city of Detroit. She's a powerful woman. <laughs> She's the mover and shaker behind Mayor Duggan. And, and uh, the city of Detroit has been doing a great job. She's, Vicki, you're teaching us how we go neighborhood to neighborhoods, making sure that communities are engaged. Alexis. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, um, my name is Alexis Wiley, and on behalf is that Detroit was one of the few cities in the country where response went down last year. I mean, last, last census. And for us, over a 10 year period, you can lose $18,000 per person that isn't counted. That's less money when you think about money going into um, um, Medicare, when you think about SNAP, all of those benefits that families in our city rely on all depend on whether we show up and whether we're counted. And while we in the city of Detroit have a very robust and strong strategy, we need partners like the state of Michigan, like MNA, like Access, like all of the people standing here to make sure that everyone understands that it is absolutely critical that in this next census that you say who you are, where you are. We've got to say that, and we can't allow fear to stop us from reporting that, that we're here in our cities, in our communities. So I just want to, on behalf of Mayor Duggan, I just want to thank the governor for making this a priority because, again, this will determine so much for us and our communities. And I know that for you and your administration, it's critical that we are all counted. So thank you so much. Thanks. Now, I'd like to introduce Donna Marie Brown. She is the powerhouse at <laughs> MNA. Uh, the Michigan Nonprofit Association that's really kind of rallying all of us to make sure that the grassroots organizations are the ones that are actually driving this out and that, again, everyone is counted. Thank you. So good afternoon, everybody. So you've already heard why Census 2020 is important, and it truly is important. As the president and CEO of Michigan Nonprofit Association, I am really excited to share with you that nonprofits across the state of Michigan are geared up and ready for a complete count in the state of Michigan, and we stand ready to do our part to make sure that that happens. I could tell you over the years, there have been more than 15 billion federal and state program dollars that were distributed to Michigan alone, to Michigan communities annually, based on the census data. Many of those programs are facilitated by nonprofits to bring support for basic needs like food and housing and shelter. And many of those that are at risk to be undercounted are ones that you might not think about. Children ages zero to five, people of color, immigrant populations, and those that are impoverished and living in poverty across the state. Rural and urban communities are also considered hard to reach populations. And many of these populations I mentioned are ones that really deeply appreciate and depend on nonprofits to provide those services. So why nonprofits and what can we do to support a fair and accurate and complete count for census in 2020? Firstly, 
Nonprofits know the nuances of communities we serve, such as the language, the perspectives, and the behaviors. Secondly, we are trusted messengers with the ability to encourage those who have been historically underrepresented in the census count to participate in the very first and foundational steps of democracy, and that is to be counted in the census. Finally, nonprofit organizations have the pulse of community needs and are keenly aware of the importance of an accurate count. And they also know about the amount of resources needed to serve their community. So for instance, if a person is not counted in the census, they still exist. They still exist. They still have needs that need to be met. Although nonprofits are innovators, and we are awfully creative, not counting everyone creates a devastating 10-year shortfall of resources. I want you to remember something. It's really about data, about dollars, and about democracy. Data, because we need to get accurate, an accurate count to get the accurate data sets so we can all make informed decisions. Dollars, recognizing that the much needed resources are generated by an accurate and complete count of the census. And democracy, it is in our constitution that everyone, and I mean everyone, gets counted. So the bottom line is, everybody counts, everybody wins. Right? You with me? Yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. So let me say, in partnership with the Council of Michigan Foundations, initial support from the W.K. Kellogg Foundation, support from more than 30 foundation mission partners, the state of Michigan, 50 plus statewide and local nonprofits, and in tandem with the Nonprofit Complete Count Campaign Chair, Kassen, where are you? Right behind me here. We have built a solid nonprofit census 2020 complete count support system that spans across the entire state of Michigan. For nonprofits who are interested in joining us, you can by reaching us by, through the website, it's posted here, but it's www.becountedmi2020.com for more information. We know that it's a heavy lift for everyone to get counted. It will take all sectors to make this happen. So today it's about getting all hands on deck in Michigan. We can do this. We will do this. Thank you. So now, I'd like to introduce the person who is going to pull this all together, one that I am so deeply appreciative of uh, to have her support and partnership, our governor of the state of Michigan, Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Thank you, that's great. That's the best intro ever, to be honest. Well, thank you. I am really incredibly grateful to be here in Southfield with representation from many different aspects and populations and communities across the state of Michigan. I think this is something that every one of us needs to be a part of. Um, you know, there are Republican legislators and Democratic legislators who, but for session, would be joining us as well because this isn't about party, this isn't about a particular community, this is about the Michigan community, about every single one of us. Everyone in Michigan counts, and we need to make sure everyone in Michigan gets counted. Because this impacts how much federal funding will come to each community. It will impact what comes into our state. It will impact our ability to create jobs and provide housing, to build schools and to provide an education, as well as, yes, even fixing the roads. I can tie the roads into anything, and it ties into this as well, right? Yeah. Yes. It directly impacts how many representatives we have on our behalf in Washington, D.C. as well. And that is critical. This information will be used to redraw boundaries and redistricting and reapportionment. And that impacts every single one of us. And so that's why I am proud to be standing here with such a fantastic group of leaders. And this is just a smattering of all of the people that are going to be a part of this effort. I signed an executive order to create the complete count committee this morning to raise awareness for the 2020 census and encourage yeah. 
and to encourage every Michigander to take part in the counting process. The bipartisan committee that uh, has created this group, that this group is made up of is elected officials, community leaders, and organizers who are uniquely equipped to ensure that every voice is heard. They're gonna create outreach plans and break barriers that may impede full participation in this process. And they'll help make sure that everyone, no matter their community or socioeconomic status, participates. And that means making sure that everyone has the resources they need to respond online, by phone, or by mail. And when their work is completed, the committee will submit a final report to me that suggests improvements for the complete count committee for the 2030 census because we have to make sure that we continue to learn and perfect a process that impacts every one of us for the next decade in this state. As Michiganders, we have a responsibility to make sure we do this right. For communities, for kids, for the future of Michigan. I know everyone here is committed to getting this done. Everyone on this committee has shown tremendous leadership in their own right, and we are joining forces to ensure that we do this well and we do this completely. From Southfield to Flint to the Upper Peninsula, every community will be represented in this effort because we can't call this operation a success unless we have people across our state raising awareness as well. The Complete Count Committee will be, will be on the front lines, but everyone needs to be a part of this. Whether you're officially on this committee or not, each one of us has a role to play. Raising awareness is the first important piece of work that we need to do together. So I ask that you talk to your friends and to your family and to your neighbors. Ask them what their plan is to make sure that they are counted in 2020. Ask them how they're going to get counted, whether it's online or over the phone or by mail. If they haven't figured them out, take the opportunity to educate them and help them make their plan. Because this is not something we can put off. We have a short window of time for a count that will impact us for a decade, everyone who calls this state home. No matter if you've been here for five generations or you're a new Michigander, we want to make sure everyone in the state gets counted. And with that, I simply want to say thank you. I know that we are up to it because I see this phenomenal uh, group that's come together that is just a portion of the people that are going to be taking an active role in this. Every one of us has to be a part of it. Thank you all. For more information, go to BeCountedMI2020.com.